Hi everybody, it's Lisa from Sutton's Days and this is 30 Days of Thanksgiving. I hope that you're enjoying this series and all the channels that are participating in this collaboration. I hope you've had a chance to check them all out. Some really great, great content being created. I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. Tonight, we're gonna share with you a new recipe to us that I hope that you're gonna enjoy as much as we do. Um, it's roasted butternut squash with cranberries and feta cheese. Ooh, so, so good. So let's get started. Okay, what I've done in preparation for this video is I took a uh, butternut squash, halved it, seeded it, put it in the oven I, at 400 for 25 minutes. And that was, I didn't want it mushy, um, but I wanted it firm enough still to cube up because that's what we want here is the cubes. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these up. Well, I didn't want to go all the way through, but... A good sharp knife is very helpful here. So we're going to get all those cubes into our, our baking dish and we'll be back. Okay, so I've got that cubed up in there and now I'm going to drizzle just a tiny bit. Well, I always try for a tiny bit, tiny bit of olive oil in there. And then we're going to do salt, pepper, and garlic to taste. Let's get it in there. Okay. Just a pinch of salt. And garlic. Doesn't everything taste better with garlic? Okay. Next. We're just going to give that a little whirl. Okay. Then put in your cranberries. You can use frozen, you can use fresh, um, you can use Thrive, you can use whatever you want. Um, this is probably about a cup-ish of fresh cranberries. We're just going to roll those around in there. Yep, another one flies out. Run! Okay, so this is what we've got now. Okay, We're going to put this in the oven again at 400 for about... Mm, 20 minutes, give or take. When the cranberries start popping and bur you know bursting, um, that is when it should be done, and that is also uh, when the squash should finish. You also, know, real yeah. quick, somebody asked me um, how I was enjoying uh, my new Rada knives, and I have to say, I'm loving them. Now, aesthetically, I love this this brushed silver. I really do. It does slow you down a bit by the fact that you can't put them in the dishwasher, <laughs> okay? But I will keep going with this collection just the same. Um, I actually just discovered that the hardware store in our in our town um, sells these. Yay! I've seen them there forever, just never really paid attention until I was in there the other day. So I'll be able to slowly add to my collection as we go. I really, really am enjoying these knives. I like the weight. I like the way they sit in your hand. I like the balance. The only thing I don't like about the, the brush silver is the fact that I can't put it in the dishwasher. But thanks for asking. Okay, so I just pulled these out of the oven. And ooh, you can still hear them sizzling. Look at how good that looks. Isn't that awesome? Okay, now, normally I would put these into another dish. You know what, I'll put these into another dish. Let's put them into this dish. Okay. We're just going to set them on, set them in this bowl because I have herbs and whatnot all over the place on the side of this bowl. So for presentation purposes, it's not great. But wow, look at that. Ooh. Let me bring you in close. Look at that. It, that is just so pretty. Okay, so now we're going to add some feta cheese. Oh, no. First, we're going to sprinkle just a tiny pinch, literally a pinch of cinnamon on here, and then the feta cheese. Okay, so just a little pinch, 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 pinch. Cinnamon. Whoop. Okay. Might be a bit much. And we'll give that one more little mix. Oh, that just smells amazing. Whoop. Okay. And now we're going to put some feta cheese in there. I'm going to finally crumble this. You don't want a lot, just a little. 
Mm-mm. Better cheese. All right. Now, this is one of those dishes that, as always, is best fresh out of the oven. So, let's grab a spoon. Okay, what I forgot to in. add was if you are, if you eat sugar, then you want to sprinkle on sugar, okay? Probably about a mm, tablespoon. Um, if you don't eat sugar, then I put this on there. And that made all the difference in the world. Now, this recipe called for uh, garlic, but... Personally, if I made it again, I would not do garlic. You could also drizzle honey over this. I think that would be amazing. But no garlic. Take the garlic out. Mm-hmm. So. Even pancakes are. <laughs> or some molasses. There you mm -hmm. go. But <laughs> if you're doing keto, that's not, that's not going to happen. So anything like that, though. Syrup or molasses or sorghum. Would sorghum work? No. Yeah, that'd make Phil very happy. Um, just a light drizzle though, not a heavy coating, just a light drizzle. So then you've got the the saltiness of the feta cheese, the tartness of the cranberries, and the sweetness of the butternut squash and whatever thing you choose to sprinkle on there. The cinnamon kicks up the cinnamon kicks off a nice little taste too. Garlic has to go though. Okay, no so slight change in the recipe, take the garlic out. I don't care for it. Neither does anybody else in the house. Um, but the rest of the recipe was fantastic. So I would definitely recommend that. Um, so it's cube squash, cranberries. Uh, you can use the uh, fresh cranberries that are on sale right now. Or the dried cranberries. Yeah. Or the Thrive cranberries. Eh. <laughs> okay. Um, olive oil, salt and pepper. I would definitely add a little bit of a sweetener. Whether it be um, the sweetener, you know, that we can use on keto or regular sugar or honey or molasses or sorghum, um, all of that. Just a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, just to mix in with it, um, I think makes a great difference in it. And then roast it for just a little bit. It's a beautiful, tasty side dish. That feta cheese gives just a little saltiness to go against the sweet. Mm, good, good stuff. Okay, I hope you give it a try. I hope you like it. I'll leave the recipe in the uh, description box below. And thank you for joining us on 30 Days of Thanksgiving. This one was a new to us recipe, and I'm glad you came along with us, and I hope you give it a try. Remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. And until the next time, be safe.